friends so this is the JLo inspired field light look that I just created today I saw only one picture of JLo on her makeup artist Mary Phillips account and I was so inspired to do this look up for y'all so here it is I hope you liked it and if you like it please keep on watching hi my beauties so let's get started with this gorgeous starry feel the light look of JLo and as you can see i have already done my foundation and my eyebrows and as usual links will be down in the description box so this is the picture i screenshotted from mary phillips account and we will be recreating this so to begin with i'm going to prime my eyelids with the soft toker paint pot by mac then i'll be using this strange eyeshadow from my naked 3 palette just to set the base at place and you can use your compact 2 for this then using nooner with the same blending brush that comes with the palette and applying this into my crease for some depth and dimension and then using a clean blending brush to blend that all out Highlighting my brow bone area with the Mary Luminizer pretty generously cause JLo, right? And then from the picture, I wasn't pretty sure of what she is wearing on her eyelids, so just went ahead by applying strange eyeshadow. But now when I see more pics of her, it looks like she has a baby pink frosty eyeshadow there. But anyways, just going back with the blending brush without any extra product on, gonna do some blend. Now for the lower lash line, I'm first gonna very lightly just apply the smaller eye coal. And then picking Max Ready to Party eyeshadow on a smudger brush, I'm gonna smoke out that lower lash line with this. Now if you have watched my New Year Eve makeup, I have showed you guys how this amazing eyeshadow looks when applied on top of black and it also gives it nice gradient effects so just doing the same on the other eye and also picking some of the MAC stars and rocket and just applying it onto the outer part of my lower lash line then with this nude pencil by Kralon I'm going to tight line my lower waterline and now for the eyeliner in the picture, I see a very very simple winged eyeliner, not too thick or thin, just a very simple one. And with just a tiny flick at the end. Using this Faces Ultimate Pro Mascara for my top lashes and Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara for my bottom lashes. And now the Ultimate Jailer look starts and I'll be applying Mary Luminizer to all over my face. Girls, I'm serious, cause Jailer look is all about the glow, right? Well, anyways, just applying it on my temples a bit more than I generally apply and then bringing it down in a C shape to my cheekbone. But after doing the next step, I felt that this step is completely optional because in the next step, I went ahead and applied glitter all over. Yeah, I'm talking about the starry thing right here. Just giving it a base of silver and gold glitter and to do that I'll be applying glitter glue randomly from my cheekbone to my temples and then picking gold glitter from the same finger and randomly dabbing it on the areas where I have applied glue and of course doing the same with the silver one. She 
also has some stars on her brow bone so I'm doing the same thing on the brow bone area too and of course on the other side of my face and then with my duo glue and the stars that I picked from a craft store I'm gonna do the same thing randomly place the glue with the help of a q-tip and go on by putting up the stars Once the glue has dried up, it won't be visible. So this is how it's gonna look like. And now for the JLo signature nude lips, I'm first gonna dab on some compact just to absorb off the excessive moisture. And then I'll be applying Cherish Lipstick by MAC only on the very center of my lips. And for the space that I've left blank, I'll be applying a nude pencil all over it, basically outlining my lips very thickly. Then taking a tissue and doing uh, this just for the gradient. I don't know how to explain but just have to do this. And then applying Cherish all over my lips again. And then gonna top it off with a nude lip gloss by L'Oreal. And here comes the fun part. All you need to do is take a bright orange or a bright red lip gloss. And what you need to do is to dab it on the lower inner center of your lips and just do this mm, um, sort of a thing and you're done and that's it so this is the final result my girls i hope you liked it it's my first international celebrity inspired makeup so please don't forget to give it a like do comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching Bye.